de-escalate. No. De-escalate. De-escalate. Why are you pushing me? This is unconstitutional. I was pulled over because I didn't want it. No, I was parked because I didn't want it. I'll ask you to leave one last time. What's your name? Jim Curry. Okay. Here, let's take him out. What's hey welcome back to the channel everyone first amendment shenanigans here so sorry for the interruption um i was away for the weekend so happy to be back and uh, jumping back into it with a video from anthony x out in california well anthony is walking the streets as usual and he comes across a dui checkpoint now normal citizens would just say oh they're trying to keep the road safe isn't that a nice thing but not anthony anthony obviously believes that this is unconstitutional illegal and he's going to give the police a very hard time let's take a look I know we've spoken about shame and embarrassment before on this channel. I would be so embarrassed if the police knew me by my first name and they knew exactly who I was, what I was doing. All right. Obviously, all these officers have met Anthony before and he gets mad later because they use his name. Again, they're not the ones posting it on the Internet. No one's forcing you to put this video on YouTube. You're doxing yourself by putting it on YouTube, dummy. Where is it? Where's the area? Right over you there. You see the sidewalk closed sign down there? You need to be on the other side of that. Will I get arrested if I don't go over there? So, yeah, you would be. So I'm on the sidewalk. To the other side of the sidewalk where it says sidewalk closed, you can film from down there. So you have permission from the city manager to close the sidewalk down? Yes, we do. You can go down there. Okay? And you're going to arrest me then if I don't leave? We want you to go to the other side of the sidewalk closed sign. But are you going to arrest me if I stay here? I'm not going to answer that question. I need you to go to the other side of the sidewalk closed sign, please. Will you arrest me if I don't? Will you arrest me if I don't? I'm going. Sign. I'm walking, but are you going to arrest me if I don't? Yeah, you could be arrested. Go to the other side of the sidewalk close sign, please. Thank you. You're a fucking tyrant, man. You're a piece of shit. Okay, Anthony. Mr. Landa, have a good night. Yeah, trying to dox me, you piece of shit, coward. These California dirtbags aggravate me the most. You're the one doxing yourself, dummy. You are putting this on YouTube. It's not their job to respect your name enough so that you can put your video uncut on youtube that's not what they're there for you're stupid enough to be known by every officer in town so if you don't want them using your name here's a here's a trick go away leave them alone you're not doing anything of value go get a job you guys got the proper signage up there letting people know they can turn i'm gonna go check it out if you don't you're gonna get in trouble yeah, he threatens the police as he's backing up because he knows he's going to get arrested. And I'm sure the police are very worried about the weak-minded, impotent little loser filming them at a legal DUI checkpoint. You guys are a piece of shit! Thank you. <laughs> so I raised the volume on there so you could hear it. When the officer was uh, responding to Anthony here, calling him a piece of shit, he just yells out, Thank you! It's the absolute perfect response for a frauditor. When a frauditor gives you a, a juvenile insult, just come back at them with a thanks, have a great day, because nothing more is going to piss them off. You can't insult them back because that's going to feed the beast. Just give them a compliment or send them on their way, say thanks, have a great day, and that is going to piss them off the most. Shut the f piece of shit. Sorry, everyone, you're going to have to excuse the journalist. He has a very limited vocabulary, and when confronted, he resorts right back to just curse words that he knows. Free country. Go do your job. I am. No, you're harassing citizens. You don't, you're not letting me document. Oh, but baby. <laughs> so I'm allowed over there, but not over here, huh? Yeah. You guys are tyrants. So you can see this is where they closed everything. 
There was nothing over there saying it was closed. All right, guys, let me pause it just for a moment, just to really reiterate. I'm sorry, Anthony, what was that word? Reiterate, reiterate, reiterate. I can't decide between a fat joke and a dumb joke. Boom, roasted. Cre Number one, when I crossed the street, there was nothing saying it was restricted. They didn't have any yellow tape up from where I entered. They only had the yellow tape up on the other side of the street where I'm currently at and about halfway up the block. I mean, where's the transparency? What are they scared we're going to see? Are they scared we're going to see them wasting resources or maybe violating people's rights? Again, where's the transparency? And on top of that, you saw how aggressive he was getting simply because I asked a couple of questions. Or maybe they're upset at me simply because I helped expose their tyrannical behavior when they arrested a youngster for simply recording because he was standing in the street. And FYI, I hear that case got dismissed. Hmm, what do you think? You don't want to know what I think, Anthony. But here's what I you know, believe whatever charge you're talking about, most likely it was dismissed because you're in California and it's a low level charge. And as we all know, California prosecutors are basically told do not prosecute low level offenses. Nobody cares. So that's probably why it was dismissed. The officer told you very nicely that you could stand anywhere on the other side. You are just not allowed inside the checkpoint, which makes sense because if you're inside their checkpoint and you get hit by a car, it's on them. That's the part where these idiots don't understand. When they're controlling an area, now they're responsible for everyone in that area. It's dark, and if you, the frauditor, is stupid enough to jump in front of a car, now they have to explain why a civilian was inside their perimeter. But you don't understand that. You don't understand leadership. You don't understand being in charge of anyone. All you know is to agitate and put dumb things on the internet. trying to dox me saying my last name piece of shit. once again you're the idiot who's gonna put it on the internet so you're doxing yourself dummy they're closing everything off because they don't want you getting close to see what happens cowards again you're calling them cowards go inside the checkpoint see what happens take the arrest who's the coward it's you anthony because you know you're wrong they're scared he doesn't want me to expose anything wrong. I'm going to go check over there, but by law, they have to give people the option in California when they're, when they're doing a checkpoint that they have to put signage up ahead of time and they have to give them the option to turn. They can't force people to go through it. And I see a bunch of cones preventing people yeah, from turning. What's that? We need more people like you. Appreciate it, brother. I love how Anthony is seeking validation from some other creep sitting on a park bench in the middle of the night, obviously doing nothing with his life. And no, we don't need more pieces of shit on the, on the streets harassing police officers. We're good. There's plenty of frauditors out there. We've hit our quota. Let's go see if they're doing this the right way. Hey guys, so you can see they do have the signs up in front. They are letting people know that they do have the option to turn. I didn't see those signs at first, so good job. I'm going to help them. I'm going to put my light on here. Letting people know there's a DUI checkpoint. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> I don't understand what's the problem with ensuring that the streets are not filled with drunk drivers. Only frauditors could find fault in this. Me personally, like most Americans, I assume, like the fact that the police are out there making sure that drunk idiots aren't driving around in 5,000 pound death mobiles. But I don't know. I'm not a frauditor, so I, I can't tell you. Good job, good job. See, they're, they're getting the option to turn. 
have it blocked off over there, so I'm gonna go around this way, guys. You'll be getting a complaint on Monday. Gently extend your arm. Extend your middle finger. So the photographer is going to spend the next four or five minutes just filming the police here, doing the DUI checkpoint. Again, I don't understand like how this is helping anyone. Why fight fault in a constitutionally protected, because believe me, people have tried to fight checkpoints before. They've been held up by the Supreme Court, both federal and state level. Why fight? Why fight this? It's a good thing. We're making sure that people, one, have driver's licenses, which is a good thing. And also, even better, that they're not driving around drunk. Okay, People die every single day being hit by drunk drivers. Hey, why is this a bad thing? Only for auditors could find fault in this, I swear. So he's going to film them for the next few minutes. We're not going to watch all of it. I'm just going to skip ahead because nothing happens. So Anthony decides to hop in his frauditor mobile and go through the checkpoint himself. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, we're about to go through the DUI checkpoint. Let's see if they stop us. Um, wearing a mask, might be hard to see. There you go. Got my uh, papers ready. Got my insurance on the phone ready. Can't see it right there. And got my driver's license ready. Um, I will hand it to him. I'll, I'll, I'll put it through the window, but I'm not gonna roll down the windows. I'm not gonna answer any questions. I'm just gonna hand them what they need to see. Let's go around the block so they can't uh, realize it's me. All right, guys. This is how dumb these people are. I don't think driving around the block once and hiding your face with a mask is going to conceal the fact that the dummy who's been trolling them for the last half hour on the side of the street is now going through their checkpoint. Anthony, they know you already. They've used your first and last name to your own admission. They know exactly who you are and what you're doing. You're a fool. As we're going through it. All right, guys, here we go. Let's get ready. I just had to stop this again. I'm sorry. He says, let's go through the unconstitutional checkpoint. You just went through the checkpoint all the way around, and you said they're following all the rules. They have the signage up. They have the cones up. They have a space where people can exit before the DUI checkpoint. But now it's unconstitutional? Do, do you even, like, have a shred of integrity when you make these dumb videos? You to do this, baby. You want to see everything? Go ahead and hand it out. I don't need that. I need to be able to look at your eyes, man. That's all I need. I'm keeping this on for, for okay, safety. Well, your window's tinted. Yeah, but it's That's a legal amount. There you That's go. All I you need. good? We're checking DUI. All right. And you get it back down again where it was. And can you look towards me, please? Nope. You're not going to look towards me? Nope, and I'm not going to answer questions. Do you want my insurance, though? I do not want your registration or your insurance. Have am you I free? Am, drink tonight, sir? I don't answer questions. Am I free to go? I'm sorry? I don't answer questions. Am I free to you go? I don't answer questions. Am I free to go? Did you show you to the Yes, I did, and I offered to show her the insurance and everything else. Okay, all right. Am I free to go? Okay. You're free to go. All right, you'll be getting a complaint on Monday.
I love how the idiot throws up the please don't drink and drive message at the end of his video. You know what cuts down on people drinking and driving, Anthony? A DUI checkpoint. So Karen here is going to go home. His mom's going to make him some pizza bagels before bedtime. And he's going to file his complaint in the morning. They let you go, Anthony, because they know exactly who you are and what you're doing. You gave the officer your license. The officer laughed at you. And then they sent you on your way because they don't feel like dealing with your nonsense. And no one else does either. That's why you're alone. That's why you'll always be alone. And that's why you're a loser frauditor on the side of the road trying to make a quick buck on YouTube. Well, that's it for this one, guys. Please stay tuned for more. Hopefully, the idiot posts a response to this. Maybe we'll see the video tomorrow. And uh, I will be there to cover it. So please keep coming back. Hit the like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys on the next one. Pistol whip the next guy that says shenanigans.